Hi, this is Bharti and we are here at Open Source Summit in Vancouver and today we have with us once again Nithara from Comcast. Yeah. So tell us about uh, Open Source at Comcast, what's new going on there? So since the last time I talked to you, we've uh, got a really good team of four people now um, focusing on community compliance and compliance engineering. We are not just consumers of Open Source, that we have uh, actually contributed a great deal to Open Source. So there are a couple of different types of contributions we make as a company. One is uh, clearly we, when we consume a product, we mm -hmm. fix it and we contribute it back and we also enhance it and we make those types of contributions. So we made roughly uh, about 150 contributions you know, this year. And then the second thing we've been doing, uh, Swap, is to also create original works, you know, things that we created inside the company to solve our problems and then to contribute those back into open source. So contribution can come in the form of code, in the form of uh, financial support to projects, um, and you know, just all of us being here in open source and evangelizing open source really helps uh, share um, good uh, practices with everybody. So the project that you talked about, two projects, is it like Comcast, you know, you're maintaining it or uh, you have kind of given it to some neutral foundation? These are the two projects that we are actually maintaining mm -hmm. for now. And we are inviting contributors from uh, all uh, parts of the world to contribute to it. Uh, we're seeing a great deal of diversity in contribution on Trickster and Vinyl DNS we just open sourced, so it's taking off. But you bring up a good point. We do have um, Traffic Control, which is our CDN project, which is hosted at the Apache Foundation, and we're very grateful. And the other good news is the Apache Traffic Control, which used to be in incubation the last time I saw you, has now graduated to a top tier project at the Apache Foundation. So we will be celebrating that as well at uh, ApacheCon. And then we've also been known to create you know, separate foundations like the RDK, uh, project which sits in its own foundation outside of Comcast and that is a collaborative effort across the cable providers, cable industry, OEMs, SOC providers like Intel, Broadcom, uh, they're all involved in, in creating that project. And you are also on Linux Foundation board. And I'm a director at large which means that I uh, represent community and not company. And one of the big lenses that I like to bring to the board is diversity and inclusion. Mm -hmm. And so I've been focusing on working and partnering with uh, Angela Brown and the Linux Foundation on improving how we include people in events, in training, in projects. Because I think we have a great opportunity as a foundation to set some guidelines for the 150 plus projects that are right. at the foundation itself, but also to create best practices for the community to follow. You're also very much involved with diversity. Can you talk about your efforts you know, that you're making and why? Why do you care about diversity? Why not? The whole world is getting digitized. Mm -hmm. And if we are recreating this world, then we need to create it with people of all types. Otherwise, we'll have a very monotone world. We'll have a black and white world created by a few people with their biases that are embedded into that world. And we cannot afford to do that. That's one big reason. From an economic perspective, uh, teams that are diverse are more innovative, more impactful, uh, create better business results, uh, create you know, more productive teams, and who wouldn't want that? Which business wouldn't want that?